good morning. Um, hopefully this is recording okay and it's not too jiggly because I'm already driving because that's how we roll. We multitask around here. You wanted to see car booty stuff, so we're off to a car boot. But I don't tend to buy my stock for a car boot, so we're going to do what I used to do because um, it was how I used to enjoy going to car boots. I'd go to a car boot with 20 quid, we'd spend 20 quid and see how much profit we can make. It's not something I'd do for, um, you know, making money for living for a living. It's just something I do for fun. Um, come on, my bed, why are you driving around the area so quick? So, yeah, um, let's get on with it. I'm off to pick my mate up now. He sells uh, Warhammer type stuff. So, I'm going to grab him and then we're going to head up to the first car boot of two so i will see you there okay we're here gopro's on let's see what we can get michael is not impressed with the filming first thing up here is a barber lining um your man here is high as a kite absolutely stinking of the wacky backy he uh claims the thing's worth 10 quid my brain wasn't fully engaged, so I kind of just was like, no, it isn't. If I was awake and I had my coffee already, I probably wouldn't have said that. But that kind of led to him getting a bit upset with me. Uh, either way, he kind of contradicted himself. He said he's got it up on eBay and it's got uh, 10 quid and it's got watches already. If it wasn't going to sell 10 quid, it would have. To be fair, if it was 2 or 3 quid, I'd have copped it. Uh, just because I know I could resell it for maybe 20, 30 quid. It's a long-term sell, but it would easily sell eventually. Jacket. Yeah, yeah. It's a lighter dude. I had a used up bill for it. You know, wait, grab it in pocket up by. I never ever used it. How much do you want for that? Uh, tenner, though. I like to go for any less than tenner. Oh, it's not worth a tenner, I'm afraid. It's not worth a tenner. No, though. sorry. It's not? No. It's on eBay for a tenner, though. It's only had about a few. It's already got so many watches, though. <coughs> I've really 25 quid to buy, but no. What's it worth it though? They're only like five, six quid. No, not, oh, they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you can probably tell there, my mouth was uh, running off before my brain was engaged. But I had to add my morning coffee, so what are you going to do? <laughs> All the fakes. So as you've probably seen there, the Moncler with the uh, tags on. Um, I wouldn't know a real Moncler from a fake one to be fair. So I'm not going to sit around a car boot trying to figure it out. But there were so many people selling Nikes in brown boxes that were blatantly rip off and fake. Um, I actually didn't realise kind of how bad it was until I was actually at the car boot today and seeing so many knockoffs. Um, some people actually seen the camera and thought I was there actually inspecting, which was quite funny. It's a lot of money on there. Yeah, the pub stuff. The pub Murders, stuff. yeah. Log on there, isn't it? Yeah. How much for the coat, please? Sorry? How much for the coat? Uh, six quid bargain. Yeah, I'll do that. It's all right if you're, uh, what's it called, though, you're to wear that. Don't uh, worry. Half a daily. Half a daily. <laughs> That's it. I'll do that for you. Sorry. Are you here next week? Yes. Right, I'll, I'll let you know, but I'll, I'll have a decision up here. No, I'll be seeing this one anyway. Yeah, I've stuck them all in that bag. Thanks for that, mate. Ten. Oh. Cheers, mate. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you. 
so a nice little uh, 80s English sheepskin made in Great Britain, genuine sheepskin. Um, you can buy those for between five and ten quid, pretty much all year round at car boots. The resale is forty to seventy quid, depending on what type of coat it is, uh, men's or women's. Men's are worth more, but the women's will sell, and that was a nice short coat. Some of the longer ones are harder to shift, but any time I see those, I buy them. Uh, nice and easy to resell. Um, the next guy who coming who's coming up, you'll uh, see in a minute. He's got a. Y2K, like a 2010 Nike hoodie, uh, trying to sell me up with 25 quid in a charity shop, which is pretty funny, but yeah. Yeah, you bolt that in. Right, so what is this? What they call? Hey? P. Tech. Dead hell, right, right. Thank you very much. Okay. Tech cell climbing if you are please. You can have pictures and so Thank you. Excuse me, mate. How much for the uh, hoodie? The, the retro thing. It's a toy itself. You can see the condition of a rare old thing. Got to worth 15 quid. £25 pound you pay for a charity shop. You've given me a contract now about me, I just... No, I don't think so. Just pet No, you wouldn't. Where's the car? Okay, okay. Nothing. So there, there you go. You do get some proper tries at these car boots. Um, they know what the stuff's worth and they're trying to get the money out of it, which is fair. Um, they sell at car boots instead of selling on Depop. It's how they make their living, so you can't really complain too much. It's just when they try talking shit, talking a bit of nonsense to try and get the sale. It always makes you giggle a little bit. Um, up next is somebody doing similar. They, they're selling all the trainers, actually got the trainers from them. Uh, they have plenty of Nike on there, but they're wanting 10 quid a pair for everything. Um, some of them were worth the kind of 10 quid, uh, others weren't. Um, there's a pair of off-white Adidas, but it actually had Nike tags in it. Um, so sadly, they were fakies. Unless somebody can tell me I'm wrong and they actually used the uh, Nike ones, but I doubt that they did. You can see here they had quite a lot of trainers. If I had some whereabouts for me, I'd probably ask them where they got them from or if they could get more and maybe get a better rate. I'll probably have to go back next week and do that because there probably was some money to be made there if they can get them on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, next week I'll probably be back and probably just see what exactly they've got and if they're there still and if they can get more. Um, always worth trying to get a supplier out of people that you can see selling lots of a particular type of item. That box is called for six quid. Yeah, I thought that. <laughs> Five Two, from Manor as well. <laughs> That's some cheap shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm saying. Yeah. 
open. Yes, it's open by the looks of it. use it for five pound that box yeah yeah I'm just not too sure what i need it for well, that's why i bought it but i can't find a use for it yeah <laughs> they're too wide or not tall enough yeah but it's a good box though maybe for a deck or something yeah possibly it looks like music equipment doesn't it yeah and jerry can's cheap actually for the back of the van yeah even if i don't use it for its actual intended purpose <laughs> Just for this boy. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Can I take the uh, jerry can? Yeah. Oh, jerry can, yeah, that's five, yeah. Oh, it says two on it. <laughs> that's super brilliant. Anyway. Okay, cheers. Nice. Thanks. This is another one watching it back where I think I should have put a bit more uh, effort into what I was looking at. Loads of kind of stuff for shop equipment, stuff you can use to keep stuff stored at the office. Uh, those shelves and whatnot are pretty handy and they were pretty cheap. But I ended up getting a jerry can for my van, so I'm happy. Okay, so first boot done, 16 quid spent. A sheepskin for tenner, no, a sheepskin for six, a pair of Nike 90 to 10, and reselling that together is about 90. On to the next one, actually, on to Starbucks. Right, car boot number two, let's go. So, this car boot is at Old Coats, it's uh, near Blythe on the A1, um, quite a bit away from where the last one was, which was up by the M62. Uh, but this is definitely one of the bigger car boots in the area. Uh, loads of stores, Sunday market, all that kind of fun stuff. Plenty of bargains to be had, but obviously by the time we got here it was like half eight, nine o'clock-ish. So a bit later compared to some people, so probably missed some bits. Sadly there was uh, some copyright music playing over this bit, basically he was telling me that he didn't know what price to sell them for, I wasn't too sure because they're only Nike uh, flex runs, they only resell for 20 quid, and he's like oh make me a good offer, I'm like oh I'm not too sure what to say, and he's like uh, how about 3 quid, I'm like yeah okay I'll take them for 3 quid. Um, the way he was talking to start with it was uh, you know make me a reasonable offer, made me think he wanted a bit more money for him, but then he only asked for 3 quid in the end so you know we took him. At this bit I nearly missed it but Michael eagle-eyed these uh, roller skates and went over, second I went near them, the guy's like two quid, so gotta take them for two quid. Easy resell, uh, should get 20, 30, 40 quid for them, people love the roller skates, so always keep an eye out for them, always worth a get. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do here on them, if you want them give me two pounds. Yeah I'll do that. Yep, there you go mate. Let me get uh, the cash out for you. 
Hey, hang on, mate. Good <laughs> <laughs> count, Michael. Good count. You've earned yourself a chicken sandwich. Carry on, you might as well get yourself a pork one. <laughs> I see his Nike's. Nike's looking things. Hello? Are you okay for the stress? Are you okay for FML stress? Fashion, friend. How much are the stuff? Different. Oh, is it all different? Is it? Yeah, five five that. How much, sorry? Five. Five. Oh, that's <laughs> you, they got changed to 20? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they got changed for a fiver. Just take the hanger off it, Duck, please. Take it, sorry? Can I take the hanger off Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no Thank worries. You. That's like 1970s. <laughs> If you're wondering why I don't haggle, I obviously don't do car boots to make my living, so I'm not too precious about squeezing every penny out of it. Um, they're there to make some money. I'm definitely going to make money off the back of it, so I'm not overly fussed about messing around over a 50p or two quid or whatever. It's not really worth the hassle. Just that. 
Can I take this? Yeah, five pounds. <laughs> Alright, so um, that was a lot bigger than the last one. Spent 17 quid, 16 quid, and the return on it's about 130 quid. Roll blades were two quid, ice skates were a quid, belt was a quid. Uh, there's that like 70s uh, feeler in the LS, they were like a fiver each, but they should sell for 30 quid plus each. Um, the feeler one needs a bit of a wash, but other than that, there you go. That's uh, 20 quid each car boot. The return on up that uh, 40 quid. I didn't even spend the full amount. Um, I think I spent about 35 quid. The return on that is about 270, 260, thereabouts. So that's how you car boot. Easy. So there we go, back home. If uh, this video is something you've enjoyed watching, I don't know how it's going to turn out in the editing. I've never done anything like this. Um, so if it comes out well and you like it, like, share and subscribe. Um, hit me up in the comments, tell me you like it, and I'll do it again next week. Because uh, we had a good little trip out. Um, bought a few bits. Uh, we've already sold the Nike that we bought at the beginning. Um, which covered the cost of my uh, challenge. My, <laughs> so I call it a challenge. It's basically a bit of fun. Something I used to always do um, a few years back when obviously car boots were a thing. Just take 20 quid see what profit we can make at the end of it. Um, we bought all that stuff. We didn't even spend the full 40 quid because we went to two car boots for 20 quid each. And we've already sold one item for the 40 quid uh, through one of you beautiful bastards on Instagram. So yeah, like, share, subscribe. If you want to see more like this, then I'm, I'm, I'll be happy to do it as long as it's not raining. It might not be a regular thing, but uh, if it comes out well, then let's, let's give it a go. So until next time, I'll catch you later.